Irma Weeks here, heading out to Chino Airport again. Man, the landscape here is changing over by the uh, Chino Airport. It is like tons of million square foot uh, distri distribution warehouses, Amazon, you know, uh, Walmart, all sorts of stuff. Oh my God. I've led a good life and I don't have to have to come back as a cow in the near the Chino airport and that's all I'm saying. There goes a FedEx truck taking a load of cow manure off of somebody that put in a big order. <laughs> okay, I am back from lunch and I got the nose of the A26 in the hangar. Yeah, the uh, the gal that's doing the artwork uh, for me, I've not yet met. I'm looking forward to uh, meeting her and discussing the last little tidbits that need to go on in the airplane. Last night I read the manual uh, a bit for about an hour, and they the guy gave me uh, Tucker, the guy's kind of the chief guy on the airplane, you know, the maintenance guy. He gave me uh, two manuals that they had. There was one, and then when I got there, there was like another one at the end. And the one that I brought that I had is like from the early 60s. So I've got three different A26B manuals. So, so we'll see what we got. Who's this good looking gal? What's happening? It. I got the camera rolling, okay. so good, good, good. Hi, I won't swear. How are you yeah, doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome, cool. Yeah, I heard you're off doing some tourism over down the way. Well, they invited me over and good. it was great. They gave me a tour and we had lunch and Cool. It was interesting. I've been in there for a long time, but awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming out. I'm happy to get this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so there's the lettering with color in it in a in the mock-up as we had first talked about. And you okay. said you might want to change it around. Perfect. Yeah, so is that where it was on the deal or is this you've moved it a little bit? I have moved it just about an eighth of an inch to the right. And other than that, it's the same as our as our pencil drawing. Because I just took it right off my okay. mock-up. Kind of, okay, it's hard for me to see with the blue tape on yeah, there, yeah. but kind of what I was trying to do was balance with the end of the boot with kind of like where the butt of the gun is. So it kind of like centers there, Okay, got which it. it looks pretty close, but maybe, you know, we could measure it off or whatever. Okay. But then the other thing is just the princess seems so too close to the... So we can pull those apart right. a little bit. Or cut them, yeah, cut them, yeah. And the only thing it'll do, and that's probably not an issue, is that this S might drop a little below that yeah, line, yeah, yeah. but that's okay. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. It won't hurt it any, but I can separate these two out, or we can push this up a little more. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah, that's and like I said, and ideally, I mean, ideally, the princess maybe ought to be centered between the pistol and the pack. And right. So probably the first thing we need to do is just split those. Okay, let's do that. And I have the little height, the little ch -ch something yeah. on the, on over here for the, for the uh, abbreviation. So okay. I can go ahead and cut this apart. Yeah, okay, and then cool. And we'll take a look at it. That guy's making too much noise. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> yeah, so that's the right side. And uh, I guess, you know, I approved this, but ideally there was another version where pistol packing should have been lower. Okay. All right, Tucker, let me show you something before we push this thing out here. Check this out. So this was the manual you gave me. So I'm looking at this last night mm -hmm. and it's This like, looks to be the 1953. Oh no, I'm sorry. 44. 44. Yeah, okay. This is the early... So then I get to like here 
and I get to the red one, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden I find, oh, there's a completely different manual. <laughs> okay. So do we have a date on this one? This one should still be 1944 or 45. The, um, the yeah, because it's, so the, the later, the 1953 version is a, uh, they can, they switched over from the A to a B26. Right, so okay. The TB26. Okay. Well, so this is, the earlier, this is what I brought. Which is B26B. And this guy sent this to me. Mm -hmm. 1963, yeah. So, so there, there's actually, I think, four or five different okay. flight manuals. Um, this one. This one's a hell of a lot easier to read. And anyway, whatever. The bottom line is, if this checklist goes with this airplane. So I think somebody. So this is a 1957. So I think. Because there's a few things in here I looked at. I don't think relate to the airplane. Correct. Yeah. Okay. There are a couple of things there that uh, that that do not. Um, that aren't added or not right. used on your airplane. Like, for example, the autopilot. There is no autopilot in your ver your model right. of airplane. Yeah. There are in some others, but for your for your airplane, it does not exist. We'll anyway, go through it, we'll, yeah. pick and we'll, right. we'll pick out what's there, what's not there. And so I ended up, went through this last night, like about one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and, uh, you know, spent a yeah, little bit of time going late, through huh? it. Yeah, a lot of it is part of the pre-flight, so this will be a great oh, absolutely. thing to follow we'll, we'll through. We'll walk through it, and if you yeah. got any questions, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, get yeah. them answered. All right. You want to use this yeah. pre-flight? No, 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 no. Use the one that's okay. just in the airplane. Okay. Uh, we'll take our time and just go through it. That's all it is. Okay, nose section, pedo cover removed, which would be right there. Very it and it's removed. Does this thing have a pedo heat that works? Not yes. that I'd ever use it. Okay. It does work. Nose hatch secure. It'll be this, act, this armament access. Okay, panel. so it's the zoo, all the Zeus is. Correct. Oh, and it, and it hinges. It so does hinge forward. backwards. Okay. And that would be for like loading ammo and stuff. So all the, the three boxes that are in there yeah. to feed the six guns, you shove them up through there. There's a pulley. Uh, tire check. This one we're going to change at some point after we do the test flights because the original ones were the diamond tread and uh, we found a diamond tread for the nose wheel. Looking for brake leaks. Um, so th come here and explain something to me. Yeah. So so one one's is push and one's return. And yeah, one is return. One is one is fluid coming in. There's fluid coming out, but also your emergency brake, which is air. Okay. That gets applied here. Okay. So this this line here is obviously to pressurize and bring it out. Correct. And if you don't push on, release the pedal, then this is going to release and go back. Right. This, that's probably this is probably the return. That's probably the airline. Is that right. the emergency line? The emergency line. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Okay. I got that figured out. All right. Let's go check the other tire. I mean, we're not going to go fly, but we're basically like we're going to. Okay. So we got there. That's your emergency airline. That's basically the line that goes in that expands the brake, and that's the return line when you release the pressure. So, is this just the emergency one there? No, no, that's that's also operating. So there's there's two oh, brake assemblies on each on side. On each side, okay. Yeah, one on each side. Okay, I see. I see. Okay, so it's just part of this, Correct. and it's connected to the inside of the right. other side. Okay, all right. Which goes through the axle there. Oleo strut, strut three to four inches. Are we talking here? Are we talking the nose strut so is going to change? So all three of them? Yeah. So the, a hand, basically. Basically a hand. Yeah. Four fingers width is good. All right. On the nose, you don't want it any higher than four inches. Any, anything above that, you, you risk the possibility with the internal lock of the nose gear. When you try to 
uh, either taxi. When you say higher, you mean shorter than four inches. Higher. Oh, as like the, this. As is the nose ex as the nose gear extends, it locks. It locks straight to go into the 90 degree swivel. Right. And if it's higher than that, while you're on the ground trying to taxi, it will break the internals of the of the gear. So you have to have, and if if the strut is inflated more than four inches, you rest the possibility of damaging the gear. So anything below four, you're good. So that's about. Okay. All about right, now that, that's five. <laughs> that's five. I'm telling you, that's that's. We're that's also one. Backwards yeah, too. two. And also, you've pushed it and brought it in, and this is going to come down a lot because that does right. the steering. But he takes this off when he goes to steer in case he wants to pull this over 90 degrees and do a sharp turn. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Torque arm scissors. That's we should have checked all of these. That's what these are. Those are the scissors. Yep. Torque arm scissors. Okay. And now one over there is disconnected. And I prop. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna here. Yeah. 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 Cotter pins there. Out there. Oh man, that's a big nut. Cotter pin there, cotter pin there. Okay, cool. Then uh, shimmy dampener, that's up on the nose. And that's this thing. So what? what is this thing? This thing's got uh, fluid in it, but what are you checking? Hydraulic fluid. Um, a good idea is to take it and you pull. Oh, See you hear it. Ready. Oh yeah. If there is any air or if it's empty, it'll just go side to side and there is no time I whatsoever. see. Okay, okay, so that, that, that's cool to know, okay. Taxi light if installed, which is not. Check. Okay. Hydraulic lines checked, which, is there any other hydraulic lines we need to see so in the Bombay? So there's hydraulic lines on each gear. Yeah, we looked at those. That operates the brakes. Yeah. And then, if you want to slide under the nose here, you have hydraulic lines. Running up here, you want to yeah, make okay. sure that nothing's leaking. Yeah, your, you know, which you could see and be dripping on the ground. Your, your uh, actuator for the nose gear, making sure that's not leaking. For the nose gear or the doors? Uh, it's for the it's for the gear and uh, because the doors get pulled up as the gear oh, it, I see. It captures it as it comes up. I see, yeah, there we go. Okay, so this comes up and this... Oh, well, that thing, that, this, this, arm. this thing's already centered, so this goes this way. Correct. Okay. So you can see on this side, there's, this. there's an arm that's connected to your actuator. Oh so God. that right there, so yeah. as this rotates, the gear, the, the doors okay. follow as well. Which is part of this whole crossbeam mechanism. Well, obviously, this has to go this way to retract the deal. Okay, right. okay, so that's the nose gear. So you're just double checking and um, yeah, just making sure that there's no hydraulic leaks. Inspection slot locking pin in place. So there's a locking pin for your nose gear, which is right here. There's a hole that goes through. And oh, I a see. Pin that goes all the way. Right, right, right. And that would be like, uh, yeah, I would think you'd want that in there if you were pushing it, pushing it around with a tug. If you're pushing it around, these things are pretty damn stout. Okay. They're okay. late model A26s. They redesigned the whole gear and this thing is right. pretty solid. Yeah, okay. All right. I know like a B24 has got an issue if you push it. Okay. We'll just look in here really quick because we're just going to be taxiing around. But basically, so we got the battery connection here. We're looking for this. We got this little thing right here, which we opened up to see the, the little powder stuff. Oh, that's cool. Is that like a ground or what's this connect to? So the that battery? is your external. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because it wasn't in the other side. Right. Okay, so we're looking at all the gear stuff. We're looking for drips and hoses. And we've got this here. We've got this thing is locked there, and that's the down lock. Um, oh, and everything's in reverse. So here we got this little circuit breaker panel over here, and all the little things are lined up. External power relay, and then oh, now this has now we got three circuit breakers that are out. Gun heaters we don't use. All right. Injection tank heater, we probably don't have. We don't have any, the no. wing guns aren't hooked up. No, they don't you work. Do have any. a landing lamp, which is the yeah, okay. In. So the circuit breaker's in. Okay. And then liquidometer, liquidometer. make sure liquidometer. liquidometer safety and it's not leaking. Yeah.
So what you're doing on that side, on the right side, you're doing on the left. Yeah. The only difference with the Cables. left main is your squat switch. So this prevents the land landing your handle. Squats that for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, so you're just making sure that the pin is touching as it's supposed to right. and adjusted, which right. the only way you're going to adjust that is if your, your mechanics uh, right. extend the strut. And, and uh, the squat switch, the squat switch, say that three times real fast. Uh, is there a light? Is there, or what is the purpose? So, the purpose to, of that, there's an electric solenoid that prevents the gear handle from going in the up position on the ground. I see. So, if you accidentally yeah, grab yeah, the yeah, wrong yeah, handle yeah, yeah, yeah. try to jam it up, there's okay. an electric pin that, that stops an arm. Yes, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, we're looking at the exhaust stacks. Yep, exhaust stacks, making sure that your, your sump yep. is not leaking for one. Your doors are tight. Right. And then physically go around, make yep. sure your exhausts aren't loose. That kind of, repeat the yep. same process. Yep. Cow flaps. We're going to put some lines on there. We're looking at the dome. There's the pin on that one to lock the deal. We're looking at the harnesses. The governor at the top. Um, those are the mags right there. Yep. Okay, left and right mag. Just looking for spark plugs, anything, any yeah. leads that aren't tightened that are off, anything out of the ordinary, trash. Bird's nest, nest, lots of oil. Looking at the, uh, you know, event, we get a ladder. We, yeah. so and then, and what do y'all do for cushions to go in there for birds and shit? So we can do cushions. Uh, yeah. So how I was talking yesterday when we were doing the carburetor uh, air filter. Remember that motor that yeah. was running? Yeah. So that you'll see, you can actually see it from here if you were to look in there. Yeah. Um, there's a door that comes up and it's it blocks that internal. Can we use that one? Yeah, okay, so we're getting up here. Easy there. Okay, so that's the prop governor right there. There's your two mags. This big ass thing here. That's your dual mag. Oh, so th so these are just the distributors. Are distributors. This is the that's mag. mag there, yes. Yeah, okay, all right. So he's saying look up inside the deal here. Oh yeah, it goes way back. You see what I mean? Yeah. So there's a carburetor air filter motor door that comes up and you'll be able to see it from out here when they're closed. Right. And that prevents birds from getting all the way back there right. uh, to your carburetor. But, so, but you would know, you usually put like a little cushion with a remove before? Yeah. I would think that we should do that. Okay. Up latch, assembly, nose gear, actuating cylinder check, crown safety lock, remove. So that's out. Upper strut check. What are we looking at there? I'm making sure that... Um, yeah, so we're going to need a flashlight when we do this. Correct. Like the bearing, all of this stuff. Right. You're making. You're looking for cotter pins. You're looking for anything that's... Yeah, that's cracks. Yeah, cracks. Anything exactly. that's not safety wired that should be. And this is also... So for your doors here, and then your retract ram for the gate main gears, your nose gears up here. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So... How does this connect with this? Is this connected directly at all through like a shuttle valve or something this for the gear doors? Shutter, yeah, for or the shuttle, do, it's a sequence valve. Um, okay. So that way when the gear gets up past a certain point, then the doors start to close as well. Yeah. That way they don't close early. Oh, I see maybe how that works. So when this thing comes up, it didn't come up straight. It was like a P40 lander. So when it comes up, it's going to rotate 90 degrees. That's probably part of what this does here. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So that, so that hooks there as it comes up. As this comes back this way, then this thing like starts rotating and the wheel comes up, rotates 90 degrees. And you see this big flat spot here is where the nose gear. And you'll notice that this indent right. is where your axle goes. Okay, cool. So that's for that, that, this guy right here. Yeah. When that rotates, that's oh, where that's okay, going. Cool. Oh my God. So it awesome. rotates this way yep. and then in. Okay. Super. Well, doors check. So Looking that's for these. security. Yeah. Looking to make sure they're not loose. What is this for? Oh, it's a step that's on the step. outside. Yep. Right. Okay, cool. Okay, so now we're in the right inboard, inboard wing and fuselage section. So all of this 
Okay, we'd check, probably check the drain the fuel, maybe. Yeah, so there's a sump, which I sumped it yesterday. Yeah, okay, so we're fuselage surface check, and the auxiliary fuel tank drain check, which was that right there, that's just lit draining for water. Boost pump drain check, which is this right here. So there's a drain right there for your, for your boost pump. Okay, cool. And this is also where your selector valve is. So what you're rotating ox yeah main. okay so these two doors you pop your fasteners and the doors open up and you have access to your fuel part of your fuel system okay we got a little bit of an oil leak there but that's kind of normal although we've got something dripping out here but it's also dripping out before it gets to the yeah deal. that's not too bad um, you gotta fly it and then i'll inspect it see what's yeah in there. tighten that up Inboard wing and flaps check. Okay, so those are all up and look good. And that's, that just kind of hangs in there. Okay, now we're in the right nacelle section. Okay, so in here we're looking at the nacelle surface check. So is that in or? So you're looking around here, but I mean. Leaks, yeah. yeah. That same same kind of deal. What's this loose thing here? Well, that is there's tooling that goes in here for the airplane. Okay. And those straps all tie into securing tooling like this. So this is all part of your uh, your your bomb hoisting. And oh all that. wow! So okay. that's all the tooling for that. So, but before you fly, are, are these in the way of messing up with nope. anything? Or no, these are all they're all out of the way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, they can't hit anything, but I mean, like this one here ought to be maybe tightened up or something. Whatever. I don't know, anyway. All right. Um, tire check, brake lines check. Okay, so yeah, we looked at all that. Oleo strut. Looks like we're checking that again, two to four. Exhaust stacks check. That's going to be outside. Oh. So that side you're doing is you're physically grabbing the exhaust stacks and to see if they're loose you're right looking for a thump 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 a rattle yeah actually if you ding it with a screwdriver or something you can hear a crack It'll yeah you can ting, hear a crack ting, yeah ting. yeah it's I'm kind like, of a thudding like with a p40 especially a p40 because those yeah. fishtail ones would right you know and if you tapped it and they had a crack you could it would go dunk 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 it's instead of tink 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 yeah, yeah. So same cool. thing there, and that's all the way around. Yeah. Um, something when you're up on top of the wing too, you grab them, moving them around. These things do come loose, and when they come loose, they just blow off. Oh my God. Okay. Exhaust tag, cow flaps check. Okay, they're all there. They opened and closed yesterday. Okay, and they go all the way around except for the little thing up there on the top. Cowling check. So the earlier model with your airplane, they didn't put a red line. They started adding that in about 1945. Right. From the factory. They put a red line across to yeah. make sure the guys understood that yeah. it was locked. Which I'm gonna add anyway. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Um Okay. And it's probably the one on the other side too. I There's assume. one on each side, and you're also looking for right. this locking fastener. Okay. If it's spring-loaded, and if it's not locked, it'll stick out about an inch, right inch and a half. Right. And it and will that, grab your attention. And that's part of the cowling, the upper cowl? That's, that's, that okay. latches the upper to lower. And then upper to lower, then this is the upper. So this here locks this. The, the, the locking mechanism itself. It prevents the locking me mechanism from unlocking. So this, it, 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 it's a, it's an internal lock, kind of like the, the late style okay. canopy lock that they have. So what one goes? This one goes first this and that one? This one goes first. Okay. Once that's latched and the cow cowling is nice and flush, yep. then you stick that in with a screwdriver, you push it all the way in, you rotate it 90 degrees, and it locks the entire mechanism on this side for the upper and lower cowling. Cool. Okay. Prevents it from coming unlocked. Okay, propeller dome check. Just looking for link somewhere on there. It's got to be right there, pinned off. That's your uh, lock and deal for the dome. Ignition harness check. 
And we're just looking for, you know, spark plug leads. Uh, probably while we're in here, we're looking for anything else, oil. Or in debris, you know, people might throw trash in here. Bird's nest. Bird's nest, that kind of thing. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, and we're probably. Propeller governor check, that'd be up on the top. Yep, yeah. very top. Okay. That works now if you had a ladder, I guess, if you get up there and <laughs> look at it. Engine check just overall, carburetor air duct check, which uh, is something there. something with a ladder that you would get yeah, inside yeah, yeah. the flashlight and make yeah, sure okay. it's a Okay. Uh, right wing section, so we're looking out here, we're looking for the oil duct and oil cooler, which is there. That's the inlet, I, that's the exhaust or right. the exit. Okay, so this is the thing that you're opening and closing to control the temp as you're flying. Correct. You're okay. trapping that heat to make it warm or it's full open to let all that heat out. To keep right, it and, cool. and it's basically electric and you're just watching the temperature That's gauge. It. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, the later style had the automatic, they had a, the thermo thermostat in there and it, it did its own deal. Landing light? Has it got one on the other side it's too? It's got one on each side. Okay, okay. And that just, that when you turn it on, it flips down? Correct. Okay, that works. Landing light. Nav lights check. They'll be out here. Okay, we got green on the right, red on the left. Um, and this has got the uh, I, I, uh, recognition lights too, somewhere like on the yeah, belly in the back or the something. Tail. Yeah, okay, no big deal. We'll get back there. Aileron check. Oh, fabric covered. I'll be darn. That's pretty cool. Looking good, the trim tab, hydraulic, oh wait a second, right wing, so you don't check, trim tab neutral, and then the wing flap check, so that all looks good on the out there, oh yeah, you can see the oil cooler right there, inside, that's cool, especially when it's open, it's hotter when it's not. And then the wing flap check. Then the right wheel well. Oh, we already went in there, right? Right wheel well. Now, what are you looking for there? What's well, this canvas curtain in place? That's in the back, right? The canvas this thing right here is that right there. Yeah, okay. Which houses your fire oh, bottles? Fire bottles. Okay, you have cool. two shots. Two shots. Okay. You flick the switch once. It'll launch one bottle. You flick it again. It'll launch the second bottle in case the fire is still it, not out. And what's the, what's the in there like? Not halon. It's uh, it's like, uh, it's, it's a, um, it's 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 halon. It's a uh, it is newer, halon. Yeah, it's the newer style halon. Yeah, okay. It's not like the B twenty five where it's right. got that dark purple. Right. Uh, and so when you do that, you want the cow flaps closed. You want everything freaking shut off. Blah blah blah. Fuel. Yeah. Pop, everything. Yeah, okay. Try to smother that fire. Okay. Curtain in place. Uh, white connection of fuel vent line check. Fuel vent line. Oh, this wire connection, okay. Which is out okay. there, making sure all the clamps are on, make sure it's not loose. Okay, and that's, uh, so that's fuel? That is a fuel uh, vent a from, vent. The, from okay. the tanks. From the tanks, okay. Uh, wing flap rod check. So that's got to that be. That rod, it goes right there. See how they're, yep. they're they got roll, or, uh, yep. sleeves. Yeah. So I'm just making sure that the sleeves are intact. Man, that looks thin. It's thin. Now, is that actually driving it, or is that, that drives, just gearing something? That drives a, okay. a jack screw. I'll be darn. Okay. Hydraulic lines and cylinder check. So we're looking for this cylinder here. Correct. And the hydraulic lines connected to it, and that's what retracts the landing gear. Correct. Okay. Double checking that there. Yeah, and we've got so. This is the that looks like the down lock, right. yeah. And then this thing, you know, rotates all this. What does this one connect to? What does that do? Oh, and here's your for your gear door for the gear doors, yes. So as that operates and then the gear starts to slide up, it operates the gear doors. Okay, this one does this one. How does this one go up? So there's a rod. Oh, I see, I see, it's connected yep. here. So this goes up to the ram. This one goes over to this one, connects there, and that's how that goes up. 
Okay. Yeah, if you notice how we're talking about the liquidometers in your fuel tank, right? That is a giant fuel tank back there, and that's right. what, that's for your liquidometer right there. Okay, which is telling you your main fuel tank, right? And it's probably got a float in there or yep. something. It's got a float and a cork, or an arm and a cork, and it just right. floats. And what are what are the fuel tanks in here? Are they they new or are they bladder original bladders? They or are. When you I build original bladders, uh, they think they're the originals. Okay, originals okay. with the the the. the, the Self-sealing. Self-sealing tanks. Okay. Correct. All right. I had okay. to open up the ox on this side and the dates at 1954. Okay. So okay. they are the originals. It's younger than I am. That's all I can say. <laughs> By one year. Fuel selector cables, where are they? Fuel selector cables? Fuel selector cables are these cables right okay. here. Okay. They run down behind it's an like armor, armor pulley armor back plate. there or something? Yep. Or? And they run down to a pulley and then they run forward, which is that bay that I was talking yeah. about that opens up. Yeah. That's where you access that. Okay. Okay. Landing gear position indicator light limit switch, which adjusts the green and the red lights in the cockpit Correct. right which is this guy here right so if that's off sometimes the landing gear will be locked but if that little micro switch is off it needs if to be adjusted. adjusted yeah Correct. my first flight ever in a p-51 i took off and when i came in i had like three emergencies and then the light went on Mm. And I had drop tank and a 55 gallon mm -hmm. tank on one side, not on the other. And I'm thinking, but I'd ridden in it like six times in the landing, and I knew I, I felt that I knew it was locked by the feel, mm -hmm. but I didn't have a light. And then when we went out there, he just said, Oh, the micro switch needs to be adjusted. Well, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. just a little bit of a, a, a traumatic tension. Yeah. Just Emergency right. up lock, down lock. Now what's down lock check? Emergency up latch release check. So how do I do that? Or is that moving something and checking the light in the cockpit? So all of that is part of this here. You're just verifying that it's at the bottom. Right, okay. And then it's captured. And once the handle comes up, this actually rides on right. both sides. Part of the, also your walk around too is you're also looking right. to make sure that that's greased. Yeah. Okay. Both nose gear and main gear. Okay. And then down lock check, which is what that yep. is. Okay, ground safety lock remove. Yep. Oh, so that would be like the one which so there's a whole bracket the that slides on, right? And it captures this okay. area, and it's just a butterfly. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, uh, circuit breakers in. Where the hell are they? There is a box, a relay box right there. Oh, sorry about that. Right. Tripping over. <laughs> so there's a relay box there, and you're looking for the wing gun, the heaters, okay. the injection tank heaters. So those circuit breakers. So are those cold. two circuit breakers, and then the what are the, the switches? I mean, it says wing guns, and those are those are technically circuit breakers. It, okay, I see. But they're supposed to be over away from me. Yes, those are. That means off because we don't. Okay. We yeah, don't we get them to be on. Well, e even if they were on, they're not connected to anything. Nope, not okay. connected to anything. Junction box cover secure, which is okay. That thing. You're looking for the butterflies to be straight up. Yeah. That verifies yeah. the box is secure. Okay, the butterflies, the little wing things there. Uh, the wing battery connection secure. Okay. Looking for your quick disconnect, yep. making sure that the wheel is tight, yep. your vents uh, connected. Yep. yep, and the battery's locked in. Okay, yep. and there's one on each side. There is one on each side. Okay, junction box cover secure, battery, battery jar check. And that's where you got the, like, the baking soda. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of a white bottle. Yeah. It, they used to be glass and clear, but they broke. Right. I'm assuming a long time ago. So and, 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 I, 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 there's something in there like baking soda or something? There's a little baking soda and a sponge. Okay. And the sponge and the baking soda absorb that acid that gets expelled from the battery as it cooks okay. when it's charging. Cool. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of coming back to me. <laughs> this, this is all fabric covered right that there. That is fabric covered. And the deal's right there. I mean, that's metal, and that's when they put a little fabric patch. Yep, fabric patches on the... On 
see they do so if you get a drum set and then isn't isn't the wheel wear where they put the uh the the rum you know where they store the rum there's yeah like, yeah, okay. yeah you can i'm naked in jamaica you can you can you'd store it up and at altitude it gets cold <laughs> you can sip it when you get on the ground all right naked in jamaica all right now so we got a wing nut Cool. Go. Secure it, secure yeah. it, secure it. Awesome, okay. Then we're moving over to aft fuselage and tail section. We're just kind of looking over it, I think probably making sure that's all down. So part of that is you open up the gunner station. Since it's gonna be just you flying, there's no combat missions anymore. You wanna make sure that this is locked and it's not spinning around. Oh, while you're in so flight. let me ask so how do you lock it? So there is a lock here. So okay, that little I see it. C I can, yeah, you can see it's locked. Yep. Right so there now there's a latch there. Yeah. And then on the other side of the pedestal, there is a pull knob that locks the actual pedestal. Okay. And then where the handle is, uh, on the other side there's a push pin to lock the 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 controls for moving up and down okay the turret yeah we'll we'll, we'll check locked. that it's out maybe not, tomorrow uh, or some one day oh we can operate yeah, the turret system too oh works. yes oh freaking awesome yeah we need to do that and the uh so when it operates mm -hmm. um maybe we can do that in the morning mm -hmm. um so when it operates is the seat and the armor plate completely independent from the so pedestal? it's all tied together um unfortunately we don't have the mechanism, we can't find the mechanism that drives the seat. So when you move your siding station, right. your seat moves with the siding station. Wherever you're looking, that seat spins with yeah. it. Yeah. So you could do 360s all day long. Right. With the, with but the what you're station. saying is now, how do you operate it? So with that, you they, just um, you turn it and then you got to move you your gotta feet. You got to move it with your feet. Yeah. yeah okay. All right. But yeah, okay. you move this with your feet and uh, manually now, but okay. the siding station still works with the upper and lower yeah, cool. Okay, don't tell the enemy, they might uh, take advantage of us. <laughs> okay, so side hatch. And then the second thing is to make sure that the gun turrets, yep. uh, the upper and lower, they have, there's an access panel on the back of the dome. And you reach in there and you uh, manually pin the motors to keep them from moving around while you're flying while you're flying when the power is put on the motors those pins get retracted automatically and the turrets move around okay but while it doesn't have power um, you want to make sure those pins are in and of course if you're servicing you reach in unpin them and you can move them out of the way take the dome off do your right work, okay arm them, arm them and so on and so forth yeah and uh, Tucker was telling me yesterday that they're they may this has got like the original low or some kind of a different dome on it, but later they changed them because when it spun around, it created some buffet on the tail or something. So, yeah, so I'm curious to try that in the air and see what happens. Yeah, good for it. Go for it. Okay, cool. Recognition lights here. Yeah, there we go. One, two, three. Okay. And what they would do with those is, uh, you know, they would have a code of the day and they would turn on a different number of lights or something if they were flying at night when they came back into the base they could clip out like a three or i don't know like a morse code thing and they would say okay don't shoot me down all right and we're probably looking at the well let me look at the thing here fire extinguisher where the hell's the top edge so fire extinguisher that's probably in the that's in the gunners in the gunners problem so that's one of the things we got to talk about okay Fire so salvo switch safety off Safety off. Well, we're not salvoing or anything. And no. P uh, part of the pilot's operating handbook, it permits people from riding back here if it does not have that red guarded switch, right. salvo switch. So if anything happens back here, this guy's got to crawl out through the door. Okay. But it's easier to get out of the bomb bay. He hits the switch, the doors open up, the bombs drop, and out everybody goes. Oh, good. So he gets to land after the bombs go off. Exactly. <laughs> or if you're good, if you're really good, you can hang on to the bomb and ride it all the way down. Yeah, there you, you go. Let yourself go. <laughs> Pull the chute. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so uh, so also a gunner seat locked. Right, right static source. Oh, 
Here, right static source, probably here. That right there. Oh my God, I'm doing pretty good here. Uh, radio antenna is checked, or was that well, just the original be an antenna one? on him, but when it leaves, right? Okay, which goes from the top of the uh, vertical, right? There. But there was the World War II antenna that we're not using, yet, right? Uh, yeah, ours basically connects to like uh, you know serious uh, music and that kind of stuff. So I like that. Too. Um, radio antennas, horizontal vertical stabilizers. Looking for any damage, any panels that are loose, yeah. screws. What's the inspection thing for? So that, so your entire, there's a giant horn back here that, that ties in your control lock. It, it operates the uh, rudder and your, your elevators. elevators there's, okay. an, there's an entire thing back here. Okay, Maybe cool. tomorrow I'll open yeah, that okay, up yeah, and you cool. can look at it. Yeah, okay. Um, horizontal work, stabilizers check, elevators and rudders check. They're all fabric covered. The, Elevators and the rudders and everything else is uh, metal. Trim tabs neutral. That's good. And that was one of the reasons why when we first got in the cockpit, we put everything neutral. So we're actually looking to make sure that the, the in, uh, indicator in the cockpit matches what we're seeing. Uh, tabs neutral. Left static source clear. Aft fuselage hatch. So this one. So that was for a camera. I was going to say, man, I don't think some of the guys could get out of that. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> okay. Aft fuselage hatch. When they say secure, just from the outside, but it's secured from the inside. Correct. It goes from the from, secured from the inside with two pins. Yeah. Okay. So you're just looking, just give it a push, make sure it doesn't fall through. Okay. So we're headed to the bomb bay. Okay. All right. Get back here. Crawl underneath. Yeah, I guess you don't want to come in the front because th those are in the way. There's a lot of places to stab your head or stab your back. Oh my gosh, so this is the Bombay tank. Yeah, so this is the Bombay tank. This is your boost pump. Okay. This is your single line that goes and feeds both of your main tanks. Once you act, once you turn on the boost pump, right. it takes about 20 minutes to drain. Yeah, so basically, so what you're doing is you're taking off on the mains. Correct. And then once you burn them down to a certain point, you turn on this, mm -hmm. you're still operating out of the mains and all this is doing is just filling the mains. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, so when do you uh, swap to the aux tanks or do the aux tanks feed to the mains? The aux tanks, um, you can transfer from a right aux tank to a left main. Okay. And so it, depending on how you have your levers selected, but right. you just, you burn your aux when but, you want to burn your aux. Yeah. Yeah, or normally you would just, you know, after you, you, you want to probably take off land on the mains because they're the bigger way, but at some point you kind of get out there and after you've burned off the fuselage tank, then you turn the engine to the aux tank right? and you burn them out that way and when it gets down to 20 gallons or something, you go back to the mains right. until you land. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can burn them on climb out if you want. I mean, you can just switch to the oxes and burn them on climb out until yeah. you've established your cruise. Right, yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, there's yeah. there's multitude of options cool. that you can do. Cool, cool. All the, these are the bomb shackle deals and the, they clip on the deals here with the, man, we did, uh, we used to drive, drive watermelons out of the B-25 and we had basketball nets that we, <laughs> that we set, but we tie wrapped off at the bottom yeah. and then we'd put a, a clip on one to here and then we'd strap the other one on and when this opened or the watermelon would fall Perfect. out and then we put a bunch on the bomb doors too. After we loaded and as soon as you open there, you get a salvo and then we drop that on. Perfect. Oh my God. Anyway, okay, so. I'm not sure if the salvo switch. There should be a light here. Which, uh, might have to have the master battery. Oh my god, that's what holds the wing on. Right? That's yep. the swing spar for the outboard left and the outboard right. I don't think I've ever seen a bolt that big with a fiber lock nut on it. I will see. Oh my God. So if you watch those bomb shackles, yeah. if the, 
the, oh, I've got it safety wired back here. Mine. Okay, never mind. But normally he'd, say, he'd hit, hit salvo, switch, and these things would all clip. Yep. Yeah, because the when you click the, the thing in here, this thing goes up, and it's got a thing that goes in like that, and then this thing goes. Awesome. Okay, so okay, so we got the Bombay control cables. So all of these basically here. Yep. We're running along the side of the fuselage. Yeah, Make we're looking sure nothing's for binding. Nothing's nothing's broken. Yep. And they're both the sides, okay. Uh, oh nothing. no. They're only on that side. They're only on this side. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, so these all this obviously for the elevator and the rudder. And your trim. And the and trim. And the trim is trim would be the most of your the hydraulics one. and most of your electrical, as you can see the conduits here. Yep. Most of that is on the left side. Okay. So those armament panels you have to remove to access your hydraulics and and, yeah. and, uh, and the electrical. These panels. Uh, the outside panels that bolt onto the airframe. Oh, uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So they're they're in sections. So there's a oh, section here. I see. There's a section there, and then there's a section in front. Oh, we darn. Let me take a peek at that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So these have to come off. Yep. To access. Okay. All of your lines and your electrical underneath. And so, let me ask you something. If you open this up, mm -hmm. I my assumption was there was a piece of skin there, but what you're saying is that's open. That's open. Oh So my there's God. skin behind it. There's skin in between this panel, the electrical and hydraulic lines. There's a piece of skin on the other side, but on the hydraulic and electrical runs between this, this. this panel right, and right, the right, right, right. skin. Oh, I did not know that. What's that for? a bullet hole. <laughs> oh, it's a drain. It's, it looks like some kind of a drain. Those are drains. Yeah, Those yeah, are yeah. Um, huh. for the uh, boost pumps, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. Okay, so all the cables only goes down that side. And so let me ask you this, on this side, well, there's more lines there, there's so it'd be, it'd be the same thing. Yes, there's yeah. not as much, see how all the right. like, conduits. But they still work the same. Yeah, exactly. Okay. There I'm is some you. stuff over there, just not as much. Okay, all right. God damn, look at those freaking bolts. That blows me away. It's interesting why those go into the center on the main spar, and these are out here for some reason. So you've got... A nut there, and you've got a nut up there on either side. Oh yeah, okay. And then you got two in the cockpit. You got two nuts in the cockpit. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and one back there. Okay, so uh, fuel booster pumps check. That's the one on just this tank. So that right there. Okay, so that's so how we're talking about tank. those. Yep. Because the aux tank's the inboard. Correct. You got another one there. Okay. Was well, that a light? That is a Bombay that? light. I'll be darn. So you can kind of see what you're doing at yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a bright idea. Okay, Bombay tank, we check. Bombay rack, which is just both which is all four, four racks. on four sides. Okay. Yep. That's awesome. I've always been fond of beach blonde bombers with nice racks. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, hydraulic lines and actuating cylinders. So actuating cylinders are so these guys here for the bomb doors. Yep, and, and the spoilers. Uh, and the spoilers. And okay. The spoilers. Okay, so those are all. Yeah, and the spoilers connected. are on the inside. They're kind of a pain in the ass to get to. But oh my god. Are. Okay, so we got that. For, uh, Forward, forward bulkhead, bulkhead check, which is looking at all everything that's up there. Right, and looking for leaks of the fittings yeah, and electrical lines, all that stuff. What's this switch for? That's a light. Oh, the light. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And what's that for? So those, there's a ring that gets slipped in. Yeah. And that's for arming your bombs. So when your bombs oh, get okay. released, that pulls the pin from the fuse, and your fuse then. Arms. Oh, okay. All right. So nothing that we're doing because we don't actually but they work our watermelons don't explode ground <laughs> safety locks what would the ground safety locks be ground safety locks probably for the Bombay doors yeah okay all right you know, mess with that top fuselage and wings so now we're going up so your safety locks your bomb safety latches are there so there's a micro switch that gets pressed. So when your bomb bay is open, you'll see that little red light in the cockpit turn yeah. on. Those 
all talk to each other. There's one on this side and one on this side. Yeah. And if they don't talk to each other, then your bombs don't release. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, but that's for Maybe. flying and dropping, not just when they're open on the ground, or there's a um, purpose on the ground to help? Necessarily the purpose on the ground um, for, it's just a safety feature is really all it is. Okay. But, right. uh, but it's mainly for that you can't drop bombs on the doors and blow yourself up on accident. Okay. Good idea. Cool. It's this little piece of wood for? That just hides. Um, some of your uh, electrical that's behind. Okay. And there's cool. also, I think, charts that go on here. Hmm. Uh, loading charts. And this this is kind of a cool piece that hides. It hides more of your hydraulic lines that are back yeah. there. People bumping into stuff because more people are going to bump into this than up there. Yeah, up there. I'm not going to hit the heads you about it. your head here, yeah. Yeah, okay. Cool. And you're looking at your relay of salvo boxes and make sure like the lids are on. Well, and that's all the, that's the bomb system. So. Correct. It's all bomb system. All right. Anything back on the turret that they would look at? For um, make sure there's a there's a, uh, a nylon or not a, like a cotton rope that would tie the two chains together. I just got a zip tie there for simplicity. Um, but you're looking for the you know. You're looking to make sure one that you've got ammunition, right? And you're each can. You got the inspection holes here. Yeah, okay. Just make sure you got ammo in there, and uh, anything that's out of the ordinary. Make sure that your lines are hooked up to your compressors for the guns. What are the compressors? Do they they, they charge start it, charge it to start firing? Yeah, they charge and they manually load um, yeah, around into the chamber. Okay, so this part for the flaps? Maybe? That the flap is your motor? flap motor. Okay, that and there's, your, there's the drive. Yep. Those little things we looked at before. Exactly. Man, those are small, but they're probably just not a load on them because they probably go through so many revolutions. They yeah. spin like crazy. Oh, they do It's pretty loud in here. As you heard, yes. Yeah, 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 cool. Okay, then uh, I think we're out of here top fuselage so now we're looking on the top okay top fuselage gas and oil covers secure so we've got the fuel tank that's your oh. main 300 gallon tank there right here okay yep and then you've got your ox 100 gallon tank here Okay, so we got 400 out here, and what's this one? 125. That's your Bombay tank. Okay. So what are all these 146, 148? So those are all the individual panels, and so that way they go back to their spot. So if you take this panel I off, see. you go 146, you look for 146 on the fuselage, right. and you put it back in its place. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. What's that for? Oh, the hoist, if you wanted to pick the whole airplane up or yep. something or yep and you picked it from up here. there and then yeah. where the revolver is for the nose art that is a, a hoisting area as well you take the two caps off on either side you ho hoist the nose hoist the wings okay and then back so is there. it like a bar that goes through there or? there is a no there's a fitting that gets screwed in okay kind of down below where the gun is yep yeah okay, that, so. that, that cover huh. and then the other hoist back there the fuselage hoist without the wings Oh, so I see. Okay. Holes. Yeah. Oh, behind the windows. Yep. Just behind okay. the windows. There's one huh. on either side. And so, what's the what's the, oh normal oil capacity? Well, normal oil capacity is, is 30 gallons here. Okay. And then what do you what do you kind of fly it at? What makes sense? Uh, you fly it at to, so it, it goes a quarter, half, three quarter, and full. Okay. So it doesn't tell you the increments. Like the B25, for example, will tell you 20 right. gallons, 30 but gallons. But I mean, like when you go, what what do you want to start? Three quarter full from which is basically 30 gallons. I yeah, think okay. it's a 35 gallon tank. Okay. That's in the airplane. So like about right. so, so you start putting oil in it when it gets below three quarter, or you try and fill it up to three quarter, or you you leave it at 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 or a, a slightly above three quarter. You don't want full. You right. want that expansion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Anything else out here? Or You're looking at your your. Uh, yeah. Your your ailerons up top. Yep. Mm -hmm. Making sure these are formation lights. These little blue lights here. You're making looking at the fabric, making sure the fabric is not yep. coming apart. Okay. And that all your upper panels are all secured. Those are for the wing pack. 
gun. Yeah, Merle, we got four fifties under here. We got a pack under here with two fifties, a pack under here with two fifties. That's why it's the pistol pack and princess. All right, let me look. Castle covers, ammunition doors, wing flap check, and runs check, upper exhaust access. So that's where we'd ding those. And cow flaps check over there. Radio antennas. We got this one. We got that's an original one. And this will probably go back to the tail. Yeah. That's and a, this one uh, works. Cool. This um, is COM 1. That's COM 2. Cool. 144. That's my special number. Life raft hatch and release handle. It's not on this airplane. Not on this, okay. Okay, and so we're just looking at the same thing over here. So we're looking at the flaps, the wing hoist, that's your oil, looking at the stacks, probably chucking the top cowl too. Uh, looking at the, uh, where was the ox? tank. So there, I think you have to paint the stencils oh, on okay. so There's an ox uh, here and that's your main tank there. And that's the main tank. Yep. So that's still got to be painted. And then I guess the same thing here. You got 79 but no well, 79. That's an oil cooler, um, the control door. Right. So you pop that panel to access the motor. Right, but it needs a 79. Yeah, it got a 79 and it also says oil cooler controls on it. Yeah, okay. So you're still stenciling. Okay, the gun deals. What's under that out there? That would be a de-icing tank. Okay, we're not going to worry about that in Florida. Cool. Okay, so I want to see where we're at. Yeah, and we talked about this yesterday. The reason this is stainless steel is not because it needs to be for any reason other than the fact that when the turret comes around and the blast of the uh, 50 caliber is going off, it won't melt the fuselage. All right, I'm back at this. Cool, all right, over and out.